In 2009, I was writing a book about a detective who also happened to be a cannibal. I thought this was an, a spectacularly original idea, right up until a friend who worked in a comic book store told me about Chew by John Lehman, which was a, uh, a series of comics about a guy who gets a psychic sensation from absolutely everything that he eats. So he takes a mouthful of something and then can tell you its entire life history anything except beets for some reason and then the um the fda starts to get him to eat bits of dead bodies so as he can tell tell them who murdered those people and if you're wondering why the food and drug administration is investigating murders i really do encourage you to read this series it's called chew and it's uh, it's really good but anyway the point is my favourite bit was the fact that this guy, um, Tony, the main character's name was, he eats a lot of beets because beets are the one thing that he gets no psychic sensation from, right? Almost the first scene is him going through the supermarket and ordering a ton of beets with the, uh, the checkout clerk saying, anything else, sir? And he says, just the beets, thank you. <laughs> um, I want you, for your daily writing challenge, to describe the ordinary consequences of an extraordinary life. So uh, leaving aside the fact that the guy's a cannibal detective psychic, he has to eat a lot of beets because of that, right? I want you to come up with a, a character or a scenario or a setting that may well be spectacular, but has some really mundane results. Describe the mundane results of something spectacular is I guess what I'm getting at. You'd be amazed just how much fun you can have with this. Go.